In this video, we'll get to grips with Microtonic's morph function. Introduced in version 3 of Microtonic, the morph function gives Sonic Charge's drum machine the ability to smoothly transition between two complete drum patch parameter states via the movement of a single control, the sound morph slider. Every parameter on all eight channels is a viable target, so your morphs can get mind-bogglingly complex if you want them to. Bear in mind though that morphing has no effect on the pattern or global sections, it's just for the sounds themselves. The implementation is simple enough. With the slider positioned at either end of its track, adjustments made to the controls in the drum patch section are stored for that position, and moving the slider from one extreme to the other then interpolates all controls between the two setups. Editing parameters with the sound morph slider in between the two poles offsets both setups equally, shifting their parameter values together. Don't limit your morphs to just obvious rises and overt transitional effects. By establishing only subtle differences between the two patch states, you can modulate the sound morph slider to add gentle organic motion to your sounds. Good targets for this sort of thing include EQ and filter frequencies, envelope decays, and distortion amount. As you'd expect, the Sound Morph slider is available as an automation target in the host door and can be assigned a MIDI CC for hands-on manipulation using your controller keyboard. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step, and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.